On Wednesday, April 3, Taiwan was jolted by its most powerful earthquake in a quarter century, causing widespread damage and briefly triggering tsunami alerts as far as the Philippines and Japan's Okinawa. The Japan Meteorological Agency swiftly detected a tsunami wave, measuring approximately 30 centimeters, crashing onto the coast of Yanaguni Island just 15 minutes after the initial quake struck. While smaller waves were observed on neighboring Ishigaki and Miyako Islands, the impact of the earthquake rippled through the region, instilling fear and prompting emergency responses. In the heart of Taiwan's capital, Taipei, the tremors shook older buildings, causing tiles to cascade down onto the streets below. Schools, sensing the urgency of the situation, swiftly evacuated their students, equipping them with bright yellow safety helmets as a precaution against potential hazards. Amidst the chaos, reports emerged of a five-story building in Hualien County, located near the offshore epicenter, left perilously tilted at a 45-degree angle, its first floor crumbling under the force of the quake. Landslides cascaded down slopes, blocking roads and bridges, while tunnels became treacherous passages as debris rained down from above. Taiwan's earthquake monitoring agency initially pegged the quake at a magnitude of 7.3, while the U.S. Geological Survey offered a slightly higher assessment of 7.4. <laughs> Regardless of the discrepancy, the epicenter was identified approximately 18 kilometers south-southwest of Hualien, with a depth of around 35 kilometers. Subsequent aftershocks, including one registering at a magnitude of 6.5, added to the already heightened sense of anxiety. Images broadcasted on television screens depicted neighbors and rescue workers laboring together to extract residents from precarious situations, with some being lifted through windows to safety below. Wow, Miraculously, those rescued appeared largely unscathed, though undoubtedly shaken by the harrowing experience. Meanwhile, the pressure exerted by the seismic shift fused doors shut, further complicating escape efforts. The aftermath of the earthquake wrought havoc on Taiwan's transportation networks, particularly along the eastern coast, where landslides and falling debris obstructed tunnels and highways.
train services ground to a halt across the island, disrupting the daily commute for its 23 million inhabitants. Even the bustling subway system in Taipei, including a newly constructed above-ground line, was not spared from the quake's wrath, grinding to a halt as authorities scrambled to assess damage and ensure passenger safety. Beyond Taiwan's shores, the quake's tremors reverberated across the waters, reaching as far as Shanghai and various provinces along China's southeastern coast. Despite the relatively close proximity of Taiwan and China, the latter did not issue tsunami warnings for its mainland, and all alerts in the region were lifted by the afternoon, alleviating fears of further catastrophe. In the wake of the initial panic, Taiwan demonstrated its resilience and preparedness in the face of natural disasters. Accustomed to the ever-present threat of earthquakes, the island nation conducts regular drills in schools and disseminates vital safety information through public media and mobile phone alerts. By noon, signs of normalcy began to emerge in Taipei's bustling northern suburb of Bitu, with commuters cautiously returning to their routines and seniors venturing out to enjoy the tranquil surroundings, albeit with a heightened awareness of the fragility of their surroundings. Experts lauded Taiwan's proactive approach to earthquake preparedness, highlighting its stringent building codes, state-of-the-art seismological network, and extensive public education campaigns. Situated along the volatile Pacific Ring of Fire, where the majority of the world's earthquakes occur, Taiwan remains steadfast in its commitment to safeguarding its citizens against the unpredictable forces of nature. <laughs>